a beautiful fall day here. I actually have on some long sleeves. Um, it probably won't last, the sleeves won't, but it has been beautiful. I'm sitting out here on my front porch, just loving it, enjoying it, letting Buster roam and do his thing. And um, yeah, it's beautiful. I uh, went ahead and got up and got dressed. We're gonna go get uh, the boys. We're gonna meet and pick them up and have them today and tomorrow. And I am excited. I'm thinking about, we're gonna go buy some pumpkins and let them paint some pumpkins for me to go on the front porch. Painting is safer than carving. <laughs> and I think it'll be something fun for them to do. So that's in the plans for today. And I don't know what else. You know, you just kind of let them do their thing. We'll probably take them for a walk on the beach. Maybe play in the little play area up in the neighborhood. I don't know. So, I'm just excited to see them and be with them. I just can't wait. Um, and um, see what we have in store. So, I just wanted to say hello. Good morning. And, um... Hope y'all are having a great day so far. I'll talk to y'all soon. Poppy bought the pumpkins. <laughs> now we're gonna, I bought this mom and I bought this cute little flag. Fixing to hang up over here on my shepherd's hook on the side of the garage. So let's go do that. So this is my shepherd's hook that I got from Deanne and Jake. So I'm going to put my mom here like that. I'm going to take that off, but oh, it's kind of, I hope it supports it. <laughs> it's kind of leaning. I may have to get James out here to help me, but let me get this flag open and get it up there. Okay. <laughs> it's flying away. But this is what it looks like. Autumn blessings. And I think it's cute. I just, I'm worried about this not being strong enough. I may have to get James to stake it up for me. <laughs> Let me go talk to him. He says it's fine. So we're going to leave it as is. But isn't it cute? A little something over here in this corner. Love it. We will get the pumpkins washed up and have them dry, ready for the boys to paint. fixing to go get the grandbabies. We're gonna meet the other grandmother um, and pick them up. And I wanted to share with y'all my diva moment and let James fill y'all in. James, tell me about my diva moment I had. First world problem, woman. <laughs> so, I ordered some, uh, I ordered some stuff from Walmart Grocery and it's going to be delivered because I'm still within my trial period. And I explained to James that I'm within the trial period and that I was really considering signing up for it because it would be so handy to have in the winter when it's raining and cold. And then I just thought, who am I, James? Who am I? First of all, if you do the grocery pickup, somebody's already shopping for you. And they're literally loading it in your car for you. I mean, you have to drive to the store and wait in your car while they load your groceries up and then you just unload them when you get home. 
I mean, who do I think I am, James? It's a hard life, ain't it? I mean, I just, I cannot believe the words coming out of my mouth. I was like, who do I think I am? What do I want them to come in and cook the groceries for me too? Actually, that would be a good idea if they offer that. <laughs> but I just could not believe I had a diva moment. So I had to like, just come back down to earth, huh James? I'm hoping you land sometime soon. You hoping I land sometime soon? Mm -hmm. I need you to scoot over this way and get in the camera. And be smiling so they don't think you're grumpy. Um, <laughs> James, are you ready for this adventure we're fixing to be on? <laughs> are you ready, James? Y'all, these kids <laughs> are the most lovingest kids you've ever seen. But they would give the Energizer Bunny a run for his money. Well, I mean, when you're our age, anything would give the Energizer Bunny run for their money. I mean, we're just setting our ways. We're old, James. And poor Buster, he's gotten set in his ways like us because he's an old soul. And I tried to warn Buster. I said, your life is fixing to be disrupted for the next, what, 36 hours? I don't know, y'all. I, I just don't know. But we're not even going to mention the pumpkin painting until tomorrow because by the time we get them and we get home and we get something to eat, it's going to be too dark and we don't want, you know how kids are. You plan an idea, that's it. So we're not even going to mention that until tomorrow. And then I think we're going to have to like tear a garbage bag with a hole in it and arms <laughs> and just get outside and let them play <laughs> wrap them in duct tape yep so it's going to be an adventure for sure for sure so keep praying for us we definitely appreciate it I mean, we're even going to need prayer after they go home because then we're going to have to, like, recoup because we old, y'all. And I'm a diva. I'm an old diva. How, how? That is a combination, isn't it? And a hoarder. Oh, that hoarder room is your fault. If you would hurry up and get my fireplace done. I, I have could, one wall if you in would, the whole room. Look, if you would hurry up and get that fireplace done, I could get rid of that hoarder because... It's stuff I'm going to put on the bookcases and all that, but I, I can't get to it and I can't put it up because my fireplace isn't done. So How come you ain't painting the stuff already? You could have been painting. I could not have been painting because we had not got the board on the wall. You could have been painting everything with that. Well, I will. You need to know. <laughs> I will. Oh, my Lord. Yes, I will start painting. Anyway, y'all heard it. I'm going to start painting. And it's my fault. And it's James's fault. Yes. So, he knows. Y'all know. And now y'all know that I'm a diva. <laughs> that I'm trying to come back down to earth. <laughs> Some people in the world don't even have groceries. She's complaining about getting groceries delivered. I know, James. Shame on me. Who do I think I am? I'm really ashamed that I even had that thought process. The Lord is really going to have to just... No, Lord, you don't have to bring me down to earth. I realize my faults and my mistakes, and I'm like, I'm on it, Lord. I'm on it. So, coming back down to earth. Buster, are you okay? <laughs> James, are you okay? Mm -hmm.